Welcome back to Gold Price. This is the Acer Spin 5. I took it for a spin. I can tell you that I really like this product. So let me tell you more about the Acer Spin 5. The unique feature of the Acer Spin 5 is that it comes with a 360 degree angled screen. This means you can use it as how you'd use any laptop, use it as a presentation dock, make it stand like a tent if you do not have much space, or fold it into a tablet. Among the modes available, I do not recommend using the tent mode as the Spin 5 does not come with any support rubber at the edges so the body is in direct contact with the surface. This means that it not only lacks grip but it also exposes the frame to other surfaces that could possibly lead to damage. The modes will also affect your experience as the speakers are placed right above the keyboard. In tent and tablet mode, the speakers will be facing away from you while in presentation mode, the audio is facing the surface which is under the Spin 5. If audio is crucial to your entertainment, then the default laptop mode is the best. The speakers are sufficiently loud and tonality is pretty good, emphasizing on vocals while bass is a little bit weak which is normal for speakers on the laptop. The Acer Spin 5 comes with a full-size keyboard with tactile switches and white colored backlight. It also has a touchpad with biometric sensor. The slim and sturdy frame of the Acer Spin 5 is of magnesium aluminum, making it possible to stay lightweight at 1.2 kilograms and thin at 14.9 millimeters. I find that the hinges on the Acer Spin 5 are sturdy and firm. This is very assuring as it keeps the modes in place. I spoke about modes just now, so we should talk about the screen on the Acer Spin 5. Unlike other laptops today, the screen of the Acer Spin 5 is of a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, meaning it has more vertical space, which is helpful for working with software. The screen resolution is at 2556 by 1504, basically more pixels on display than a QHD screen. The 13.5 inch screen is of IPS panel and out of the box the colors look fantastic. Basically, it's a check mark for those who want color accuracy in both work and play. 3x2 aspect ratio is also the aspect ratio of images from cameras. So this makes the Acer Spin 5 a great choice for photographers to showcase their work. The screen is also touch enabled with Wacom AES 1.0 that enables 4096 pressure levels and you get to maximize it with Acer Active Stylus that offers 90 minutes usage with just 15 seconds of fast charging. The stylus is conveniently stored on the right side of the Acer Spin 5's body which is also its charging dock. The touch screen on the Acer Spin 5 works as expected whether it's annotations to feedback what needs to be changed on your website or working on your latest piece of art with precision editing. You can even use emulators to run Android games and it will respond perfectly at least based on my experience. Speaking of work and games, the Acer Spin 5 has Intel Evo platform powered by Intel Core i7 processor. The model I have with me here uses an Intel Core i7 1165G7, while there's another model using an Intel Core i5 1135G7. While the Spin 5 isn't a product made for heavy workloads, it still can get the job done. Video encoding work for example, the Intel Core i7 1165G7 got a 3 minute 4K video done in about 14 minutes and the 1080p output of the same video is done in about 5 minutes which is respectable considering it's a 4 core 8 thread mobile processor that got it all done within operating temperature of 19 degrees Celsius which is perfectly fine for a mobile system. What about games? The Intel Iris XE graphics is impressive as I tested Genshin Impact with lowest graphics setting at the maximum available resolution and the game worked great. It might be just 30 frames per second, nevertheless the experience is satisfactory. Battery life is impressive. Acer claims that the Spin 5 has a battery life of up to 15 hours. Based on Windows calculation, I saw it could go even up to 18 hours. I put it to the test by browsing YouTube with maximum brightness and volume and I am able to get anywhere from 6 to 8 hours operating time. So if you lower the brightness and if you work on simpler tasks like documents and spreadsheet, your mileage will be even longer. 
charge time is also fast. With the provided charger, I get 8% battery charge every 10 minutes. Connectivity wise, the Asus Spin 5 has got you covered. On the left side, there's two USB Type-C port with Thunderbolt support, one HDMI 2.0 port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 port with power off USB charging and one micro SD card reader. On the right side, there's a 3.5mm headphone speaker jack, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 port and the power button that's also working as a lock button. The Spin 5 also has Wi-Fi connectivity with Killer Wi-Fi 6 AX1650i dual band. What more can I say? The Acer Spin 5 and its flexibility with the stylus, it is simply a splendid product especially if those modes and the stylus fit your work requirements now whether you're getting the intel core i5 variant at rm4599 or the intel core i7 variant at rm5599 you can't go wrong with any of them both of them are great it's just a matter of which processing power suits your needs better well that's all for this one Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and bye bye.